week two of our college dorm life series. It's, Wait, hold up. Should we change outfits? No, I was about to say we're we're filming this all at once because we are time students. Time <laughs> students? We're not time students. We are we're, good time managers. Yes, and we're like, why waste time filming this multiple in multiple pieces? Also, this way, I have four videos to edit and have ready and post all at once. So there we go. Let's get into it. This week is room organization. borderline doing this like my car was filled to the brim I had on two the drive. cars you had one plus people yeah i was the definition of overpacking guys half <laughs> of my dining room was college stuff like before we came yeah but bring <laughs> less than you think you need but when you like essentials and stuff like especially with hygiene stuff buy the big packs of mm. it because when you're still at home you're not super broke yet so spend that money at home so you can save more money when you're at school. Yeah. But just keep in mind that when you do move in, most schools have Target, Walmart, TJ Maxx right near them. So you can like just go shopping for other things when you arrive. But it's important thing for when you're packing your clothes, you usually don't go home until after it's already starting to get cold out. So don't just bring like the hot summer stuff for when you first start. Bring like colder like weather clothes too. You don't need your heaviest winter gear yet because Hopefully you're going home some point in the fall. If you're not, take that into account. But just like be prepared. Also, let's say you're not like you're the type that doesn't go home till like Christmas or something. Have your family ship it to you and ship mm -hmm. some clothes back. That way, it's just it's gonna be a little expensive, yeah, but it'll be worth it. So you don't have to buy new clothes, and also you're just prepared when you're here. Yeah, and I would say like. I didn't think I would need like my fall and winter stuff because I'm from North Carolina. It doesn't really get cold till like end of October, early November. And so I was of the mindset that I would just grab it when I went home for fall break. Um, but I wound up just bringing everything because I didn't feel like dealing with that. And I'm so glad I did because it is early October and in my head, it's already freezing outside. So yeah, the mornings and nights especially mm -hmm. are wicked cold. Yeah. The midday is like still like decent, but like, if you're like this one and you get really cold easily, you're going to need some of your colder clothes. And like, I'm from up north and going to school in Virginia. So like the cold, like doesn't bother me as much, but like still I'm pulling out hoodies and stuff. I'm pulling out sweatshirts because at some point it does get cold and it's okay to admit that you're cold. Mm -hmm. So we have our overhead on right now. Um, but it can be a little harsh and I know some people it gives them headaches. So have alternate lighting options, whether that's like white Christmas lights, fairy lights, um, like a small desk lamp, um, especially at night. Yeah. We never have the overhead light on probably past like 8 PM. Yeah. So it's like, it's like intense. Yeah. Right now we have our window open with the daylight, our overhead light on and, and the sink light and the sink light on because good lighting for a video. Obviously. Turn the cross on too. And Literally. So it's like on Michaela's side, there's white Christmas lights and like this LED like cross light. We don't even turn the cross on that much because mm -hmm. it's so bright. I just use it during the day when I don't want the overhead. So. Yeah. And then like, you have a desk lamp too, but you use that for like actual like the like reading light. Mm -hmm. My desk lamp has like a yellowish hue to it. It's not like LED. So I'll like turn it as like a wand arm. So I turn it facing up and I shine it. It's like it's like a regular like standing mm -hmm. lamp in a room and then also when we like want super gentle like just so we can like see where we're going in the room we turn on my fairy lights because hers yeah. are like christmas lights so they're like but they work for what i use them for. yeah so it's like we can have just those turned on and like you, we can still see clearly in the room mm -hmm. with mine you can see but it's more like just see where you're going can't mm -hmm. really like do anything with it yeah but like definitely bring some lights like that because you're not going to want to have the overhead on all the time. No. Make sure you look at what your school's rules is for how to hang things up. So for our dorm in specific, there's a brick side and there's a drywall side. Mm -hmm. So basically all of Michaela's stuff's on the brick side. So mm -hmm. she has like everything hung up with command hooks because she can but since mine is on the drywall side I'm not supposed to do that and if mm -hmm. the wall gets damaged from it it's on me and I'm trying to avoid those fines <laughs> because school is expensive enough as is 
So everything on my side is basically hung up with like tacks and tape and mm -hmm. it works perfectly fine. And then there's like oddly material stuff like on the side of our closet. I don't know what material that is, but yeah. command hooks are safe there. Also, the door. yeah, on the door, like if you notice that in years past someone has put something there and it's like put permanent it there. there <laughs> There's not something they can do about it now. They already know that that's on the room. You can't get fined for it. So like our mirror, we could see where someone had command strips before. So we're like, okay, that's a good spot yeah. for it. I will say on that note though, this was something I regret not doing. I totally forgot to do it. I meant to do it. But when you move in, take pictures of any damage you see in your room from years past. So that if at the end of the year, they try and tell you like, hey, we're finding you for this, you can show them the photo and be like, no, it was there before. Yeah, that's a really good thing that I still can't believe you forgot to do. Yeah. But the only major thing was the door, was the door mirror, but that's really not the big deal. And it's like pretty obvious that someone would have done that before us, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, for sure. So I personally brought a small TV just because we had it at home. Um, but I would say it's not essential at all. I think I've used it maybe three times yeah. since being here. Um, like I don't get many of my channels that I got at home, which is really frustrating on Saturday and Sunday for football games. But nonetheless, we've used it a couple times for like late night movie nights when the common room is in use. But other than that, I don't think a TV is a necessity. We mainly just use laptops. I don't have time to like watch TV at yeah. all. So it's just personal preference, but I would say it's not a must. Yeah, sure. and like I'm the type that likes to have like a show playing in the background because mm -hmm. like I watch the type of shows that that's okay with. And so like, I just always have it on like my laptop because it's fine. Don't recommend watching stuff on your phone for too long because like your parents say having so many screens close to your face isn't good for you. So like, a, but a laptop's good enough. Yeah, but I would say like if you know you're somebody that like falls asleep watching a show mm -hmm. or like that's just a part of your daily routine just you can get a tv for like ten dollars at a thrift store yeah. um and it fits really nicely on the desk and everything mm -hmm. but if you're not like i never really watched a ton of tv like yeah organization super important because if you're the type that likes to work at your desk you need to make sure you're having space for it so look up your specific, not just your college, because usually they'll have it like by dorm, what type of desk you're having. Mm -hmm. Cause like we're at Liberty and so we have, and we're in South Tower, so we have just like flat desks. But if you're in Commons, you already have shelves built into your desks. So search it up, find out what you have. If you want to like build the shelf above your desk, not like build, but like get those like Ikea ones that you can mm -hmm. just stick on top. But for me, I knew I'd have some books, but not too, too many. So I just got bookends so I could stick it on the back edge of my desk. Mm -hmm. And that's super helpful. And also, I just redid this on Sunday because we did a whole like, Sunday reset in our room. And I reorganized all my desk drawers. And it's super helpful now because now I better know where things are. Because mm -hmm. I'm the type, I do a lot of my work on my bed. But also, if I'm, like, trying to crack down and you get work. You don't do it on your, no. Sometimes I do <laughs> if I care about being comfy. But most of the time, <laughs> if I'm getting work, I'm doing my work in my room. I'm, I, re I really want to just, like, crack down and get it done. So then I'll sit at my desk and do it. Mm -hmm. But then there's people like my Kayla. <laughs> Want to care to explain how your desk and your Yo, studying situation looks? I, I've always known this. I can't work at a desk. I do not like sitting there. It's not comfortable. So I do all of my work either at the library or on my bed. Um, and so like with that being said, like my desk is more storage. So, um, and I don't even have bookshelves, which I probably should have done something with that, but um, we keep our microwave on the desk and so I just put my books on top of the microwave and it kind of acts as a natural bookshelf in a sense and safe space. Um, and then I have this little caddy for like hair tools and like claw clips, jewelry. It's a really good tool I would say to keep everything somewhat organized and in one place. And then I just kind of have like my makeup stuff there. But I knew I was going to use my desk more for like doing makeup, doing hair and like storing stuff than to actually do work. Also, so plan accordingly. <laughs> one of our friends, her bed is lofted. Neither of our beds are lofted. You can see that in our dorm curve video. So I'll put a link somewhere if I can figure <laughs> out how to do that. I probably won't be able to figure it out, so it'll be linked in the description. But she literally has 
so her bed is lofted and so she got like these really cool things that she hung under her bed and mm -hmm. that's where she stores her books yeah and like that is a super thing so you could maybe look into and consider if your bed's gonna be lofted but like we don't have lofted beds so i can't show you that yeah i would say on that note too lofted beds i don't think they're a necessity like both of us are pretty short so we kind of knew we didn't want to loft the beds because it would just be a hassle um but like I know people that have lofted beds, they typically put like a beanbag or a couch under them just to have like a more comfy sitting space. But if you're in South Tower, you don't really need that because everybody hangs out in the common room. I would say the only time we would have used it is like doing movie nights. Yeah. But like you have two beds, mm -hmm. you can sit on them. Like. Yeah. Also a thing, just like putting that out there, if your bed's lofted, you can't sit up in your bed. It's mm -hmm. so, like all of them are just like, yeah, no, I have to sit on my desk chair, I have to sit in my beanbag. I'm just like, see, I even like considered locking my bed as soon as next semester, but I'm like, I really don't want to go through that hassle. Like I'm yeah. perfectly content with sitting on top of my bed. And at Liberty for room checks, having a lofted bed does make it harder on your RAs to like see if you're there. And I know some people have gotten woken up because their RA has like shined a flashlight because they couldn't tell mm -hmm. if the person was in the bed or not. Yeah. So you might get woken up more if you have a lofted bed too. Yeah. <laughs> snacks i still don't keep that many snacks in the dorm you have more snacks than i definitely I do. do have more snacks yes um but i would say like with the dining hall being pretty close and everything else you're not gonna need a ton of snacks in your dorm and i think it almost encourages like unhealthy behavior if you just have snacks all the time um so try to limit the amount of snacks you bring bring some so that if you're hungry you don't yeah. have to like run to go get food but mm -hmm. yeah make a healthy healthy amount um and then on that so we have a fridge and a microwave in our room um but i think it's not necessarily a necessity it's just depending on like you and your roommate and how much food you keep in the yeah. dorm um because our fridge is pretty small so we don't really keep that much stuff mm -hmm. in there it's kind of just like coffee creamer milk and like leftover yeah. food basically um, and then the microwave we pretty much just use for like those leftovers you just left <laughs> leftovers and like popcorn and stuff mm -hmm. um, but at least in South Tower there's communal fridges and microwaves in the common rooms mm -hmm. so if you're not planning on keeping a ton of stuff I would say you don't need to bring one yeah or you can try it out for a month and see how it goes without mm -hmm. them and then if you want them purchase them later. yeah also it's not an option at Liberty, but if you are planning, if you're not sure about Liberty and you might be going to another school, look into a lot of schools, double check that if it comes with it or not, mm -hmm. but then also double check if they have it available to rent, because I know at both my sister's schools, they were able to just rent theirs, mm -hmm. and it made it a lot simpler. Yeah. Well, in both of our appliances, the microwave, we got secondhand, and the fridge was like $80 at Walmart, so don't spend hundreds of dollars. Like, Absolutely not Just get not the cheapest it. thing possible that's all you really need um and I think same thing goes with the Keurig we have a Keurig in our room um I actually used it less than I thought I would just because the dining hall coffee is actually really good um so I'll just typically yeah. grab a cup there I think I've used the Keurig more for ramen than I have for actual like coffee and tea and that's because I've yeah. used it a lot more yeah <laughs> and well and your tea yeah but I think like if you're a coffee drinker and you like to make your own like fancy coffee do that but if you're just like kind of a basic coffee drinker you don't necessarily need a keurig yeah also if you're gonna have like a keurig and like all this stuff i recommend getting plates bowls and cups and then getting like a three-tier rolling cart to mm -hmm. store it all because that way it makes it easy to clean because you can just move it all out of the way clean it put it back really simple and like it doesn't take up more space because we talked about earlier how we need that desk space for other things mm -hmm. so definitely that for sure I brought like a lot of cleaning products and stuff and I really don't use that much of it mm -hmm. like I'm glad I bought it so I had the option but like I really didn't need to but actually I didn't buy it my mom bought it so that made it the blow of me not using it a little better but mommy I promise it'll all get used eventually over the next four years yeah and another note on that like when you first move into your dorm bring some Clorox wipes clean everything down bring some Lysol or something yeah 
I think that's what we use the most is Clorox and Lysol. Yeah. So then I also, and then also because we have to keep our mirror clean, just to have a mirror clean, but also for specifically for room checks, mm -hmm. I have Windex. So the main things, Windex, some paper sort towels. of like, like, yeah, paper towels to go along with it. I forgot paper towels. So I was using hers. And then Clorox wiped. And then I also have like dis the disinfectant spray for when mm -hmm. the wipes run out. And then, what was the other thing? Lysol. Mm -hmm. I have one that's specifically designed for fabric. A, a regular one probably would have been nice, but the fabric one's nice since most of the room has like blankets and just different things like curtains mm -hmm. thrown on top. Yeah. So and just by spraying all that down with the disinfectant, there it smells good. So that <laughs> <You> I think. <laughs> yeah, just be careful with what scent you're mixing in the room. Because like we have a like what is it? A like a wallflower. Yeah, and that helps a lot to keep the room smelling good because dorms have a weird scent to them. Mm -hmm. But just like if you're gonna be spraying Lysol, like maybe unplug that with the room air out a little bit, then spray it. Yeah. And also with the wallflower, like make sure the scent you are getting is like okay with your roommate. Like yeah. I think both of our scents I picked. Uh huh. The first one was definitely better than the second one. Oh yeah. The second one it's like a pumpkin and it's very mm -hmm. overpowering even for me. So Yeah. But also it's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. So it helps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the pumpkin one. The wallflower itself is fine. Then you have like a perfume or something. <laughs> the other day she sprayed it across the room. Combination with the Lysol. Yeah. And it I had to sit in the hall for like ten minutes. <laughs> Because I would, like, cough the second I walked in the room. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of bad. <laughs> we learned that lesson the very hard way. Yeah. We so. also recommend, this isn't really a cleaning product, but it works, wrinkle release spray. Just to spray your clothes on the night before. But also, I don't know where my sister got it, but it's, like, a foldable mini ironing board. And, like, a full iron. 10 out of 10. Cause like your clothes just look so much cleaner and so much nicer when it's ironed and stuff mm -hmm. and having the ironing board with the actual iron is so nice because steamers can actually cause problems like i know that some of the other buildings have had like fire alarms go off because people have misused their steamers so that super super not important but like very very helpful also keep in mind how you need to be dressing for your major because like mm -hmm. lots of schools are like stricter about that like if you're a business major you have to be dressed nicer and you can't be showing up with like a wrinkly shirt and stuff because that yeah. like doesn't look good so definitely recommend wrinkle release spray because that you know like the night before or a little bit before and that'll help like loosen it up and then also at least for me personally like ironing super important so foldable ironing board you could probably find it on amazon and with a full iron. My oldest sister had a mini dorm iron. That thing, nothing. Just get a full iron. It really doesn't take up that much space under your bed. Yeah, and I would say like, I never iron my clothes back home and I still don't really iron my clothes, but for some things it is nice. I borrow Sarah's and it is nice because um, at Liberty you have to dress a little nicer um, than at least I did in high school. And so, you had to get used to possibly ironing your clothes sometimes. So it's good for one of the two of you to have something. Yeah. yeah. That's it for room organization. Next week's video is more just like personal tips and things like that, things that we've learned that's more specific to your persons rather than whole room in general. So that's gonna be different. Remember, more than concrete to him who loves us. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. We understand how difficult it is to have questions and have no one answering them. So please don't hesitate. I will answer all of them to the best of my ability, I swear. All right, have a blessed week, y'all.